Hey there everyone, Ramesh here. In this video, I am going to show you how to deploy Spring Boot application to Heroku. Alright, so deploying a Spring Boot application to Heroku is very very simple. In this video, I am going to guide you how to create a Spring Boot application with a simple REST API and how to deploy the same Spring Boot application on Heroku step by step. Alright guys. If you are new to Heroku, Heroku is a platform as a service which enables developers to run, deploy and operate applications entirely on cloud. So basically Heroku is a cloud application platform, alright, and Heroku provides a free option uh, for developers to deploy uh, non-commercial apps such as POC, MUPs and personal projects, alright. So I'm going to show you how to deploy a simple Spring Boot application to Heroku step by step. Alright guys, without further ado, let's get started. Let's open Eclipse STS ID. So go to the file, new and choose Spring Starter Project. So this is a Spring Initializer a website which is integrated in Spring Toolsuit ID. So we can use Spring Initializer to quickly create Spring Boot project. Let's give name to the application like Spring Boot Heroku Demo, something like this. And choose type as Maven and packaging as a jar, Java origin 8, language Java. And let's give group ID as net.java guides and artifact as Spring Boot Heroku Demo. Version keep as it is, description. Let's give a proper description here deploy Spring Boot application to Heroku alright and then keep packaging as it is alright all right, once you are happy with the details click next and this is a Spring Boot version so this is the latest version of Spring Boot as of now let's keep this latest stable version as it is and let's go ahead and let's pick up Spring Web Starter Dependency to develop a simple REST endpoint choose Spring Web Starter Dependency so we use Spring Web Starter Dependency to build web or RESTful applications and Spring Web Starter Dependency provides Apache Tomcat as default embedded container. Alright guys, once you select all the details, hit finish. So this will create a Spring Boot application in STS ID. So this is the default structure of Spring Boot project. All right, so this is the main Spring Boot application class. Now what we'll do, we'll create a very simple REST API. So let's go ahead and let's create a new class and let's give name as welcome controller. So to demonstrate how to deploy Spring Boot application to Heroku, I'm going to create a very simple REST API here. And we are going to test this REST API from Heroku deployment. So let's annotate this class with add REST controller annotation and let's create a method which returns some string and let's give method name as welcome and then return and let just return some text here. Let's say welcome to Spring Boot Heroku. Alright, let's let's keep like welcome to Spring Boot Heroku demo as a string. Alright, it's pretty simple. Let's annotate this method with at the rate get mapping annotation to make this method as a REST endpoint. And let's configure the endpoint URL here within a double quote slash welcome. So this is our endpoint name. Alright guys, very simple REST API. Now let's go ahead and let's deploy this application and let's quickly test this REST API locally. Go to the Spring Boot application main class, right click, run as Spring Boot app. So this will deploy our Spring Boot application in default Tomcat embedded server which, which will run on port 8080. It's very simple. Open Chrome browser and just type localhost 8080 slash welcome hit enter so this endpoint 
returns a welcome welcome to spring boot heroku demo so this is the string we have configured in rest endpoint here now let's go ahead and let's deploy our spring boot application to cloud application platform in a browser type heroku login and head over to heroku application and if you are new to heroku then you need to create an account go ahead and click on sign up button here and you need to enter some details like first name last name email address company name and here you need to choose the role so you can choose a role as a professional developer and choose country here and language choose java and tick i am not robot and hit create free account button so this will uh, send you email uh, to confirm login so once you sign up then enter email and password and login to heroku so once you log into Heroku, you can see the dashboard here. I hope you guys following the steps. So look at here, this is the dashboard for your Heroku account. Now what we will do, we will create a new application. Click on new button and create new app. And here we need to give app name. So let's go ahead and let's give uh, available app name here. Like Spring Boot heroku demo oops this name is already taken so let's give different name spring boot app heroku something like this okay this is also taken let's give some different name here something like spring boot application heroku yeah so this yeah this application is available so let's keep Spring Boot application Heroku as a name, application name, and this is the reason uh, we need to choose. So let's keep uh, United States as a reason and hit create app button. So this will create you know application in Heroku. So look at here. This is the, here are the different uh, section. So this is the overview. So this will show you the uh, overview of deployed application, and this is the resource. From here you can add. A databases and other add-ons and this is the deploy section from here we will deploy our application on Heroku so look at here here, here are the three deployment methods uh, you can use either of them so I am going to use Heroku git uh, default deployment method in this video in upcoming video I am going to use a github deployment deployment method as well all right so if you don't want to connect to github account from heroku you can use heroku git uh, deployment option this is all right so in this video i'm going to use heroku git deployment method so this is very simple let's go ahead and let's deploy our spring boot application using heroku git deployment method so first you need to download and install heroku cli on your machine so click on download install section here so if you are using mac then you can choose this windows 64 bit installer 32 bit installer so go ahead and you know choose the appropriate installer as per your machine operating system so once you download and install heroku cli in your machine we're gonna log into heroku using heroku login command all right so let's go to the you know location of our project and open this project in command prompt so i am using windows machine so i can able to open this application using command prompt here now we're going to use these very simple commands so this is the first command heroku login hit enter so this will give you option to log into heroku you can choose this option to log into heroku from browser or Q to quite or exit so I am I want to you know log into Heroku from this command prompt itself so I just quit and I just enter Heroku login hyphen I so this will give you an option to log into Heroku from command prompt it itself so we'll just provide email I address here 
so you can give your email registered email address of Heroku and password and hit enter so this says login as the registered email ID alright so once you log into Heroku the next step is you need to create a new git repository on Heroku alright so let's go ahead and let's initialize our newly created Spring Boot application as MT github repository for that let's use git init command to initialize this project as MT git repository it's very simple right so so notice here we are not deploying our you know repository to our github rep uh, account in fact we are deploying this repository to Heroku so this is the link that uh, map our local repository to remote repository using uh, this link okay so once we map this github repository to Heroku github remote repository then what we'll do we'll deploy this application on Heroku so for that what we need to do is we need to first add all the spring boot content to github repository using git add dot command let's copy this command git add dot so this will add all the content or project to the repository and we need to commit all the content so let's copy this command so look at here hyphen am so uh, we are not you know uh, committing our code to github we are in fact committing to uh, Heroku so use hyphen am here and then we need to push our github repository let's copy this command so look at here uh, this is a master branch but github changed the name from master to main so whenever you enter this command you will face this issue so let me provide you solution for this issue so you need to type here main instead of master because github changed the branch name from master to main okay so this is very important guys notice that and once you enter git push Heroku main so this will uh, you know first uh, you know push all the code to github repository remote github repository and then it will build spring boot application so look at here let's wait a couple of seconds so once build success then it will compress and then it will deploy artifact on Heroku so look at here this is the URL uh, which will which point to our deployed Spring Boot project now let's copy this link alright and look at here this is the repository uh, in which the source code is hosted let's copy this URL and head over to the browser and just enter in browser and hit enter so look at here the Spring Boot application is uh, you know running properly let me just copy the rest point url here and let me add here slash welcome and hit enter yeah here we go our spring boot application is deployed successfully and we can able to access a welcome rest api and rest api returns welcome to spring boot heroku demo text it's very simple guys deploying spring boot application on heroku is very simple and if you go to the personal section uh, here you can able to see all your deployed spring boot applications and here you can see the activities that you have performed while deploying your spring boot application all right guys in upcoming videos i will show you how to deploy spring boot postgres crude app on heroku how to deploy angular uh, spring boot app on heroku react spring boot on heroku okay i will create some more videos on deployment how to deploy spring boot applications on cloud maybe i will plan to deploy spring boot application on aws as well all right guys thanks for watching subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks guys thanks for watching i will see you guys in next video